This is my capture card. And in this video, I'll tell you what you can use one of these things for. I'll show you just how easy they are to use. And I'll also give you some information about the different types that there are out there and which might be best for you depending on what you want it for. Okay, so what does a capture card do? Well, it's quite simple. Whenever you want to record or live stream footage from any device that's capable of outputting video, well then you can use a capture card with your computer to achieve this. Now I have a few devices here to illustrate this cameras, gaming consoles, but you can also capture video from other devices like old Blu-ray or DVD players, even VCRs, Amazon Fire Sticks or satellite, or cable TV set top boxes, you name it. So now that we know why you would use one, let's make sure that you get the right type depending on what you need it for. And to do this, first check the output ports on your source device. Now that's the device that we're going to be recording from then make sure that you either get a capture card with the same type of port as an input or just make sure that it's easy to convert the output from your source device into the input from your capture device with something like an adapter or a specialized cable. So most modern devices will either use some form of USB or HDMI or display port and all of these things are really easy to convert between. So in general, an HDMI capture card is a pretty safe bet. But for older source devices like VCRs or DVD players, a lot of these will use RCA type connections or S-Video or even SCART. So just make sure that you know what ports you're using before you go out and buy your card. If you plan to use it for capturing gameplay footage, then you should also make sure that you either get a low latency card or if you're willing to spend a little bit more, you can get a card which has pass-through capability. Then most of the other features that you'll find on capture cards are general quality of life improvements and depending on how much you want to spend, you can decide how important these things are to you. But I'll put some Amazon affiliate links to a few options in the description, uh, including this one that I have over here. And I'll also put a little more information in there, which will hopefully help you to narrow down which type of card might be suitable depending on what you want to use it for. All right, now let me show you how easy it is to set one of these things up. First, you're going to connect your source device to the input on your capture card using the correct type of video cable or cable adapter combo. Now connect the capture card's output to your computer via USB and it should automatically install the drivers if you're on a Windows PC. And finally, power up your source device. And once that's done, your computer basically treats it like it's a webcam. You can even view and record the stream directly from your camera app or start a Zoom call with it. But if you want to do this properly, then you should really be using OBS Studio. It's a free software and it allows you to record videos or even live stream directly to platforms like Twitch or YouTube. So go and get it from the link in the description, download, install, run it. And then once you've done that, go ahead and add a new source like this, select video capture device, hit okay, then make sure it's selected under sources and you're good to go ahead and start recording. If you wanna know where your videos will be saved, head to the settings, then output, and take a look at the recording path. This is where you'll find your videos. And there you have it guys. If you found this useful, then please leave a like and consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing more tips like these and I'll see you next time.